here at the NYU Film Center with the Blood Kisses premiere, and I got the producer and the writer right here. And right. director. And director. Man and the chief, man, cook, man, chief cook and bottle right, washer. Man of many talents on the red carpet. Right. First, we got to say why I'm here with you and how, you know, we got to meet. Marianne's a little bit of a long story. I'm going to make it short. All right. My best friend is your plumber, right. Al, who'll be here later. Perfect. I can't wait to see him. I don't think he'll recognize me. He usually sees me in like the worst outfit ever. Okay. Okay. Because let's we see. have to call him in the middle of the right. night and right. you're in your nightgown. I don't know why you do that. No. So he was in his plumbing shop. Right. He puts on the message machine. Right. Another friend of ours, Rudy, says, right. You know who that is? Here's your voice. Because right. you said, Al, I need, you know, call right, me, call whatever. me, call right. me. And Rudy says, That's Marianne from Brooklyn. And Al says, no, no, that's Marianne Trepagino. Right, right, She's right. my customer for right. many years from Bay Ridge. And he says, no, you don't understand. That's Marianne from Brooklyn, from Howard Stern. And so when Al told me the story, right. I said, She's famous. We got to have her in the movie. <laughs> and now, let, let me make my point. The only reason I'm here is because of Howard Stern, and it's like six degrees of Marion from Brooklyn. Wherever I go, somebody hears my voice, and I get a part or some cool thing to do. And this is very cool for me, so I'm happy to be here. And I have a part, and I'm looking forward. And, and it's, it's not just a part; it's a speaking part. Right, it's speaking part. Because Tony and Tina's <laughs> wedding, even though that was my first movie, and I read the script. I didn't have a speaking part. Well, he says a story. Yeah, he says a story, and then he wants me, and of course I want to do everybody a favor, like the good Marion from Brooklyn I am, and then I go to the movie and the premiere, and I'm in it for like two friggin' blink your eye seconds. On a TV screen besides, you don't even see me. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the background behind. I'm a behind, behind the scene, extra, 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 blink, 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 and if you blink, forget it. There was two bodies, like they were on display, pushed through the rails, and it was that's my movie career. But now, tell what your idea was for your film, Blood Kisses, and how that came about. I was walking in Greenwood Cemetery with my wife, and one of the tombstones, the name on it was Abigail whatever. And I said, Abigail, that's a good name. If I was going to write a story set in the 19th century, the character should be Abigail. It's like a 19th century name. And it's been a long journey. You, you got well, all the uh, characters and the actors and the funding. And, no budget. Oh, no budget. Whatever Not even low budget. Whatever right. I had in my pocket. Whatever I had in my pocket. Well, that's that what you can tell by the carpet. There you go, by the carpet, you can tell that. I'm going to take that carpet <laughs> to all the events. Well, and also, you're a teacher. You work. Sometimes I would get home at 2 in the morning, carry the lights up because I didn't want right. to leave them in the car. To be and the, stolen and in Brooklyn. Sometimes the right. camera. Right. And, you know, carry it up into the house and then uh, go, wake up at 6 in the morning and go off to school. And I did that for about three years. Now, we didn't shoot every night. Right. Because but it was only, a hard schedule. We could only shoot when the actors were available, when the whatever location, because we have a lot of locations. Right. So this does not look like just a, you know, uh, a very indie movie with a handheld camera, shaky camera. Professional. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. I wish you a ton of success. Uh, I'm lot. happy to be here. Well, I'm happy to and be here. And the, the actors here, who's uh, here? We have Cash is one actor. Okay, here. come on, Cash. Cash. How are you, Cash? Hi, real good. How are you? So wh what's your part you're playing? I see this like I'm being interviewed by the vampire hunters okay. uh, about the death of my father. Lo, these many years ago. Is this your first movie? Oh, no. Oh. oh no. I'm in a sex scene of Pop Star PI with Adam West. We just found a uh, distributor oh, for. Oh, Batman. Yep. Very nice. Stuck in the Middle, uh, which is mainly set in Purgatory. It's a theological slacker comedy in which I play St. Peter. That sounds good. It's, it's very funny. Can you hold this for me a minute? Okay, wait. Oh, thank That's you. you. Well, That's very look, nice. For my friends she that came to me. She brought her own your movie? Carpet. My own, right. Well, we're on a low budget here. <laughs> All right, so uh, here we are at Blood Kisses. Let's hope it's a big success for Bob. And maybe Al will uh, fix my plumbing every now and then. I don't know, but we'll see. So it's my uh, second red carpet, and let's not hope it was like my first red carpet. Thank you, and it's been my pleasure. Bye. Love you. Look at our red carpet, isn't yes. that great? Oh, that's great. Oh. Low budget, low Let me ask you something. Yeah. Did I have popcorn inside? Oh, I'm